another episode of Pimp Your Production. I'm Ryan Conley. Today we're going to be filling your ear and eye holes with the sexy alicious tastic Kessler Crane KC Lite, a super compact, lightweight, versatile, yet wicked tough camera crane. It's like the Kessler Crane after a Jenny Craig diet. Now don't be fooled by the looks of this little camera transit device because not only does it possess the smoothness and capabilities of more larger and more robust cranes out there, but it also packs a pretty tasty attitude. Mother I get to drive like a freaking idiot day. Dad's just on the right, wagon. I hate when you drive. Don't be a bitch. So now that you have your crane, which was probably delivered to you by beautiful women who are more than likely cheerleaders for your favorite sports team, or at least that's how I felt. Anyway, my point is now, as you probably guessed, you're going to have to set this mother lover up. And like most of the magical Kessler gear, it sets up in minutes. And the KC Lite is no different. Once everything is set, all you need to do is balance the weight, which is easily accomplished by adding a few counterbalance plates to the weight bar, which you can find for cheap at any Walmart, garage sale, or sporting goods store. Or if you want to make it interesting, you could always just wonk or shrink your friends and have them do pull-ups while you shoot. Oh my god! But yeah, if you want to stay boring, you could just do the weights. What did I tell you? Super quick and delightfully easy to set up. Just to really drive that point home, I'm now going to have my three-year-old nephew set it up by himself in under two minutes. Oh, uh, well Bruno could set it up in under a minute and he has the IQ of a five-year-old. F you. F you too. But now that your crane is set up and ready to be manhandled, there's just a few things you ought to know about before you start shooting to make sure you get the absolute most out of this love maker. For instance, if ever a situation calls for a shorter neck on your jib, you can simply shrink it down to 5.5 feet by switching to the short tip. Another great feature unique to the KC Lite is the ability to manually tilt your camera by tilting your tripod head. The great thing about the KC Lite is that it was designed and built specifically to be the best economy crane system for filmmakers on a tight budget using lighter, smaller DV or DSLR cameras, giving you more flexibility in the field while at the same time not raping your wallet. The size and weight of this delectable contraption is extremely helpful when it comes to tight places where a regular jib or crane would be a nightmare to even attempt setting up. So. I guess in a way, you could say that it'll save your marriage. How so? How not? Uh... In my mind it would. Yeah, you're gonna have problems if you don't communicate. Communication is key, you guys. It's the key to a healthy relationship in any relationship, married or otherwise. Gotta keep that fire burning, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it totally would. Let me guess. In your mind, we were married. No. We were married, and I was wearing a wig. No. If you're using a smaller HD camera or DSLR camera, this is the ideal jib for you. It's very lightweight, which makes it super portable. I mostly shoot on DSLRs in a low budget gorilla style. With a lot of my projects, I have to shoot fast, quietly, and usually without any permits. So portability is a must. And the KC Lite gives me exactly that. With a jib like this, I'm able to run to a location, set up, get my shot, and get out of there before anyone even noticed I was there. So I guess you could say that the KC Lite keeps you from getting raped. Wait, what? You get in and out and get your shot before the cops get there, meaning you don't get arrested, meaning you don't go to jail, meaning you don't get curled up to in the middle of the night by a big bald guy doing 20 to life. Okay. Another great thing about the skinny, lightweight, not heaviness of the KC Lite is that it's much easier to throw in a place that would be a bit cumbersome for a heavier jib. For instance, I've thrown this bad boy in the back bed of a truck so I could get a craning tracking shot. A little while ago on one of our projects, I had two shots that I needed, one of a kid running and the other of a car driving. I didn't really want to just do the regular static shot that I've done plenty of times before, so we got the idea of throwing the jib on the back bed of a truck to get a much more interesting and impressive shot. Since this was the opening shot to the piece, we were able to start high and then crane down to reveal our character running. And the car shot was something very similar. We started at the wheel and moved up to the window, which was a great way to transition the flow from the scene before it to this one. And there you have it, the KC Lite from Kessler Crane, the awesomely light lightweight crane which is 100% toolless, fully collapsible, and extremely portable for easy transport. For more information on this or any other Kessler Crane product, check out their website at KesslerCrane.com. And if you want to be kept abreast for when the next episode of Pimpy Production will be coming out, you can follow Kessler on their Twitter, which is twitter.com forward slash Kessler Crane, and I'll see you next time when we'll be talking about the shuttle pod, which is exactly what you think it is. Which I don't know what that would be. A ship filled with geese or gooses. What's a plural to that? Geis. Geysers. That's not it.